Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees. I am next to my Ross Sapote tree. Not many people have heard of Ross Sapote, uh, but there's a, it's part of a family that's called a canisteel type of family or a sapotos family. This here is an egg fruit. This is one of the many different varieties of egg fruit. Uh, this one is an arrow egg fruit. I have a tree right over there that's one of these. And then there's another one called a trompone or a trompo version, which my neighbor has right behind me. You can see all those yellow fruits up there in the tree. Uh, that's a big tree. And it's a fruit I don't really love, actually. It's not one of my favorite fruits. Uh, it's delicious in smoothies and so on. Uh, it's not my first choice of fruit, but I wanted to have some of these trees because I like to make smoothies. And I like to have different things that people don't know about as well. Uh, but I was recently down at Laura Farms and he was explaining about the sapotes and some other fruits and that's where I got this fruit from that he, that he gave me and I'm waiting for it to ripen, picked it right off the tree. But you'll see all that in this video today and uh, what's your opinion if you've tasted egg fruit or, or this uh, can of steel fruit, what do you think about it? Check out this video uh, from Laura Farms right now and he, he has the fruit for sale. Uh, I'll put the link below the video if anyone wants to taste this fruit if you've never tasted it. Uh, but I'm looking forward to these trees growing and this tree behind me growing. This was actually the first tree I've ever planted uh, when I had a, my other property. And uh, I didn't know about the fruit. I was so excited about it. It's a very sweet fruit and people love it. It's just uh, there's so many others that I love more. But a lot of people love this one as their favorite actually. So check it out. Here's the video and uh, enjoy. All right, everybody, here we are again at Laura Farms. This is Julian, and he's here showing us his uh, egg fruits, also known as canisteel. And how many varieties of this do you have? Um, canisteel, I got, uh, you know, the Aru, which everybody knows, has gotten to know, that big one. got Trumpo, I got Oro, I got Bruce, I got a whole bunch of Ross, um, and I got this guy, which is Fitzpatrick. Which, you know, it's an egg fruit canistel. They call it egg fruit uh, commonly around here. And it's the only canistel that kind of looks like an egg. Wow, the shape of it. Yeah, look at that. It's so, nice and small. So for those, you know, some people can't eat an entire canistel by themselves. So that's why, you know, I kind of like this one because you can eat, it's kind of like a personal canistel. You can eat the whole thing by yourself. And uh, this one, this one looks like it's ripe. That's what they look like. That's why they call them egg fruit, everybody. You want to try it? Yeah, sure. Here we go, everybody. I'm going to try this. And for those of you uh, that are like me and have a small yard, this is a great tree to plant in the front yard. This, either most people don't know what it is, or if they do, they're not really taking these like they're taking mangoes or avocados. Yeah. So that's a great tree to have in your collection. Some people absolutely love them. And well, the great thing about the egg fruit is they're wonderful for milkshakes. If you were going to make a milkshake, that's uh, something you put in there. My maize and can of steel are wonderful for milkshakes and commonly used in them. Oh, you want to talk about a milkshake? <laughs> this makes a great milkshake. Yeah. And the ice cream is phenomenal. It's one of the best flavor ice creams I've ever had is um, can of steel ice cream. This one here is Fairchild number two. Fairchild number two. How many Fairchilds are there? Uh, just one and two. The one, uh, Fairchild number one, I really don't care for. But this one, I really, I really like. It's very moist. Uh, it makes a lot of fruit. And, uh, the flavor is great. Here's a green supposed. Wow, they got so many different types of varieties of foods here. Here's a green sapote. And about 20 years old. There's two green sapote back to back. And again, did you purposely put these on the street because people yeah, don't know what they are? No one knows what the heck a uh, green sapote is nor how it looks like. Right. The Aru. The Aru, yes. I got one of these. Yeah, I sold a lot of these already online. There's still some fruits on the tree. What's the season for these now? Um, you know, it's a winter and spring fruit. Um, Ross tends to make fruit maybe two times a year, so we'll have fruit again in the summer with Ross. And it's a it's great fruit when there's not a lot of fruit in well, season. Yeah, this is well, good. We're in January, so there's not a lot of stuff um, available in January. 
You got, you know... Uh, Black Zapote, Black Zapote Sapodilla, Sapodilla, and these. Um, Canistel, you know, some Tamarind. Um, Jujubees. Jujubees. I got to check if Jujubees are ready. Yeah, my, mine are in yeah? right now. Yep. All righty. Trying to find a green Sapote. But, uh, no luck. You can see a cluster of Eru's in there. They're massive. Up there. Wow. Yeah. So you sell all of these on your website. Tell everybody the name of your website. Um, it's uh, LaraFarmsMiami.com. I got a section for tropical fruit whenever there's stuff available, and a section for one gallon trees, and another section for uh, three gallon trees. And um, I'm hoping to start posting my May trees for sale in one gallon. All right. We're looking at more canister steels here, and we found a green sapote oh, yeah. in the tree here. Yeah. So he's going to get his uh, fruit pole here to cut down some can of steel. And this, this must be the most fruitful street in America. There's so many fruit trees on this street. So. So that's the green one? Yeah, this is the Whitman. A Whitman. Yeah, I usually wait until <clears throat> it turns. There's the skin turns red. The skin turns red. Wow. Is that still in the Canistel family, or is a? Yeah, that's my May family. Uh, Sapotasia. So my my May Canistel are the same family. Canistel, same family. As and miracle fruit too, right? Miracle fruit. If you eat a yeah, miracle fruit, you got a mini you see, seed. Yeah. You see that seed inside of it? A little tiny mamey seed. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That was from Africa, and it goes to show you how when it was um. Uh, when it, when all the continents were, were together in the in the Pangaea era, you know how these things were separated by all the continents separating, and and they're all, and it's amazing how similar and how related they they are. Um, so, anyways, uh, the green sapote uh, is is uh, just a mame with smooth skin, and inside it has a a, a mame a mame seed. Um, Kaimito is also in the Sapotasia family, so it's a, another. My main, my main relative, Sapodillo, Canistel, Green Sapodi, my main. Um, and there's lots more out there. I mean, if you go on Facebook, there's a page called Sapotasia Universe. And people post all kinds of Sapotasia from, the, from all over the world. And wow. Stuff I've never even heard of before. Um, and yeah, there's, a, there's some more on here. An amazing collection right here. See how it's starting to turn color on the skin? Yes. I usually wait till they turn red. But, or I can just scratch with my nail and see the color inside. Yes. Make so sure they turn red when they're ripe. Yeah. So these you can take home and let it ripen. Oh, you can great. Tell me how Thanks. They are. I'll put them over here for you. But also, I was looking on this side. There's a little <clears throat> cluster of Hebrew canisters. And these canisters are for sale on your website when they're in, when they're in season, right? Right. Right. Um, 10 pound boxes or five pounds? Yeah, five or 10 pounds. Five or 10 pound box of this fruit. Absolutely amazing. And there it goes. This, wow, look at that. Catch it. <laughs> and everybody, this, this, what, what, what variety of this? That's is? the Aru. Aru, wow. I have a tree like this, but I haven't tasted the fruit yet. I hear it's amazing. And it's not as round, it's more pointy than yeah. uh, It's For me, it, I think I call it the Maganya of Canistels. It's the biggest one out there. Wow. Bigger than any other variety. I mean, Bruce is pretty big, but I think that beats Bruce. And another thing, too, is uh, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but a lot of people that sell fruit like this online, first of all, they're not many times not getting it from their own farm. They're getting it from maybe a local farm, which is still okay, but it's not from their own farm. But, right, you're getting uh, it from the source when you get it from. Yeah, my, yeah, and, exactly. And and I pick it. This I, I ship it the same day I pick it. And that and also your price beats all those other ones I've seen online. That's a big thing. Thank you. So uh, no, thank you and thanks for doing that. So you know what you're getting, you know the source of it, and you're getting the best price. So definitely get down to the link. If I was in New York where I grew up and I wanted fruit like this, I wouldn't be going to these little bodegas. I'd be going online to. Uh, to this website here below the video, your stuff. right there. And he knows when, that's another thing, he knows when to pick these fruits. Uh, because he has these trees for so many years. So he knows he's not picking them too early or too late. Exactly the right time where it comes to you ripe.
So definitely, uh, this these is your place. These are also the source of my budwood too. So when I graft my trees, I come here and I collect, I harvest budwood, and um, and I graft all my seedlings, and I get my seeds from all these trees too. Wow. Well, this street is amazing, and this farm's amazing. Tell us again your website. Um, it's uh, LaraFarmsMiami.com, and I'm located in, in uh, obviously Miami, Florida, Miami uh, Dade County, uh, in the Redlands area, which is the pretty much the last. Uh, agricultural district in South Florida and in, in, uh, in Dade County actually here in, um, in uh, Homestead we used to supply avocado uh, this area Homestead used to supply avocado and mango to the entire North American continent but uh, those days are over unfortunately it's all been uh, turned into uh, greenhouse ornamental nurseries and uh, and houses farmhouses yeah well everybody check out his website and check all this out it's amazing all right, everybody, there I was at Laura Farms in, in Miami. I'll put his contact information below. He was very uh, kind to bless me with uh, some of uh, fruits when I was there. And just delicious, delicious. Uh, more exotic fruits, wonderful. Remember, if you want to taste those, if they still are in season and he has them left, you can click the link below the video. If not, you'll have to wait till next year. But uh, just another great, different exotic fruit you could plant in your house. Uh, put your comments and questions below about that below the video. And until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.